I am Anil Kumar. In this chapter 4.3, we are going to explore different kinds of asymptotes and behavior of the graph of the function near the asymptotes. In this particular video, let us explore oblique asymptote. The question here is, determine the equation of the oblique asymptote and explain the end behavior of the function. So, we have only one oblique asymptote. We'll have only one oblique asymptote in most of the graphs, right? Now, in this particular case, we need to find equation of the oblique asymptote. Oblique asymptote really means that as we could define it like this, we could find limit of the function as x approaches negative infinity. What does the function approach? If function approaches a line, let us say y equals to mx plus b kind of a thing, linear function, then we say there is an oblique asymptote, right? So this stands for both the limit on positive side and on the negative side, right? So, so if the function is approaching positive infinity, it will approach a line. If it approaches a line, we say that the oblique asymptote exists. Normally, in if the degree of numerator, so from the function, if degree of numerator is one higher than the degree of denominator, then you expect oblique asymptotes. In that case, you expect oblique asymptote. Okay, so that is normally the case asymptote for rational functions okay in any case so from this graph we can actually find equation of oblique asymptote we know the y intercept is minus 2 x intercept is 2 so equation of the line could be y equals to minus 2 is my b value and the slope is positive rise of 2 uh, and run of what 2 right so it is uh, plus x or y equals to, you could write y equals to x minus 2 also, or you could write this as x minus 2, either way. So, what we can say is that the oblique asymptote is y equals to x minus 2, right? So, that is this equation. So, this line is y equals to x minus 2. So function is really approaching this line as x approaches infinity or minus infinity. So that is why we say that there is an oblique asymptote for the graph of this function. Now another important thing here to consider is behavior or end behavior. So end behavior or behavior near the asymptote. So we have to see whether when x approaches positive infinity, then the function approaches from above or below. In this case, you can clearly see it approaches from below, right? So value of the function is less than the value of the line. In this case, it is approaching from above, right? So the function is slightly higher value than the line itself. So that is the end behavior. So we can say as x approaches infinity, so f of x approaches approaches the line so oblique asymptote which is x minus 2 but for positive it is slightly lower than this so it approaches from below right when you could also say that the limit of the function as x approaches minus infinity is is less than x minus 2 limit right so or you could say it approaches the line x minus 2 from, in this case it is more than, for minus infinity, it is more than, right? So it is more than. So when you are approaching minus infinity, then the value of the function is slightly more than. So we can say when x approaches minus infinity, the function approaches the asymptote from above, right? Above the asymptote. So, so, so we can write that the function f of x approaches, we can say approaches from above. 
as x approaches minus infinity, right? So that is the kind of behavior. So whenever we are talking about behavior near the asymptote, for an oblique asymptote, we want to see whether it approaches from above or from below, right? So that is what we are trying to see. That is what it means behavior near the asymptote or end behavior for an oblique asymptote, right? So that is what it means. I hope that point is clear. Thank you and all the best.